I'm gonna do a quick little video for you guys. So sometimes I get a question people stop and ask and they wonder how I like using a shipping container, sea can for as a barn or a building at all in general. Right now we're currently in the the uh, absolute worst weather condition, temperature condition for the sea can. What happens is you get a load of snow on top. So then what happens after you get a load of snow on top, you get a, a warm spell. So right now we're running about 3 Celsius, so if you're in Fahrenheit, well just figure out when your ice turns into water and raises a touch over that. So then I'll show you what happened. I'll we'll go inside. You can see the plywood floor is just sopping wet. Now what happens is it just sweats like crazy. See the beating of uh, per beating of sweat drips down. So it's like that the whole way through. And if you have have this going on for any extended period of time, one thing you can do to help out is insulate. So this is a chicken coop. It's insulated. It's a garage door panel. It doesn't have any sweat at all on the roof. But as you can see, the window is just wet. And so when it's like this. I try and run my doors. What I do is open all my doors and basically just try and keep the air flowing through it. So I don't know if that'll help you make a decision on whether or not to get a sea can for uh, a barn. Um, if I was to do it again, I probably would not. But the only problem, the only nice thing is about them is that you can get away without a building permit and. Unfortunately, uh, this communist Canada here, you can't really wipe your nose without asking for a permit from the government. So that's kind of why I went with this for now. Plus, it was it's really quick. All you do is you pay your money and they drop it off and you're ready to go. So it does have its benefits like that, but it would be nice to would be nice to uh, have a barn someday, and that'll happen. So thanks for watching. Subscribe down below, right over here, push that button, and we'll catch you on the next one.